So you have the five of wands. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future. So you have to take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. You have the five of ones here. This could be a lot of conflict, negativity. Could be different people fighting. King of Wands is here. This could be jealousy. And then High Priestess is here. Wow. So somebody could be jealous of somebody else's gifts. Them getting spiritually woke. Using their intuition. Being more in tune. King of Wands. Wow. Because this High Priestess is someone that's very gifted. This is someone that knows hidden knowledge. And it's like with the King of Wands and High Priestess, they're spiritually gifted. And a lot of people, this person could be looking at paying attention, you know, using their intuition now that they're more intuitive. And, you know, they've woken up to their gifts. They're seeing a lot of people that are, you know, in this Five of Wands energy with them. These could be people that were close to them or are close to them. Eight of Pentacles is here. And then Queen of Swords is here. Page of Cups is here. So whoever this Queen of Swords is, this is someone that spoke the truth or they speak the truth. Some type of clarity came in. And then Page of Cups is here. So somebody could be, um, because this person could have been secretly my, admiring this Queen of Swords. This is someone that is intelligent. They speak the truth. They could have spoke the truth or said something to this person. And this is someone that was secretly admiring this Queen of Swords. They could want to work with this person and, um, these are people that were, you know, like jealous of that. And this person is seeing this. But it's like with this high priestess being here, they could be, you know, just hiding it. This person is working on something or they want to work with this queen of swords. The moon is here. Yeah, whoever this person is, it's like they're using their intuition. Because the moon card talks about psychic abilities. So whatever they're doing, they're keeping it hidden, but it's like they're they're more intuitive and they're using their intuition. This person, oh wow. So this person is woke and a lot of other people possibly don't know or they know that this person is woke. And this, this seven of cups popped out in the reverse. So somebody was trying to create some type of illusion or confusion for this person. But this person is in tune now. So they're seeing all of this. People that are secretly trying to compete with them, one-up them. Wow. Seven of Cups in the reverse. So it's like they're no longer confused about whoever these Five of Wands energies are. Two of Pentacles is here. King of Swords and then the Chariot is here. So this person is trying to figure out how could they come towards this queen of swords and speak the truth or talk to this person. Because it's like they're coming toward, they're trying to figure out how can they come towards this queen of swords and speak some type of truth to this person or have a conversation with this person. Yeah, the empress. And then the star card is here. So whoever this queen of swords is, they see this person as an empress. They see this person as a star. They see this person as someone that is very healing. This person is, you know, just sitting back, attracting whatever it is that they want out of life. This is someone that have healed from some type of situation. But whatever they went through, they chose to pour love into their self. 
But this person still, it's like whoever this person is, they pour love into their self and they still have time to pour love into other people as well. This is someone that is very intuitive. They operate in divine energy, so they're very abundant. Two of Cups is here. So they want to come towards this person because they want to partner up with this person. Yeah, they want to have a relationship with this person. Judgment is here. This, this person have already made a final decision of what they want. Eight of Wands in the reverse. And then the Emperor is here. They just not have communicated it yet. With the Eight of Wands in the reverse and then the Emperor is here. So whoever this King of Swords is, this is this Emperor. Seven of Swords is here. Something happened with some communication. Eight of Wands in the reverse and Seven of Swords. So somebody could have did something to try to um, do something in a sneaky, deceptive way so that person would not communicate with whoever this Empress is, whoever the Emperor is. This is their Two of Cups. Queen of Cups is here. And then King of Cups is here. Yeah, this is this person's Two of Cups. Some type of deception was caused for this person not to communicate with this person. This could be you. Um, And this person have not communicated with you because they, they could have somebody that's causing deception around them. So that's why they, they, they have not communicated whatever decision that they have made to like come towards you, partner up with you. Because this person knows that you're their two of cups. Yeah, whoever this person is, this is someone that's a karmic to them. Someone that's toxic. They're binded to different addictions, bad habits, obsessions. Yeah, they're, they're binded to the, you know, devil. And this person is codependent to the devil addictions and worse. Somebody that's low vibrational. It's like they have to leave this person out in the cold. And this is why they, they have not communicated with you. This somebody is just toxic. Yeah. Hangman in the reverse. It's like they're enlightened. They know they have to leave this person out in the cold. They know this person is somebody that's the devil. This person is um a karmic to them. And they were only attached to this person as they were in an energy where they were toxic. Or bind it to the um, devil addictions and worse. Yeah, the sun card is here. It's like they're seeing things for what it is. They're realizing this. Nine of swords is here. And then um, four of wands is here. Six of Wands is here. So this person could be, you know, in the energy of they're at the dark night of the soul. And it's like they cannot sleep at night. Four of Wands, Nine of Swords, Six of Wands. Two of Wands is here. It's like somebody could have planned something out to thinking that they would have victory and success. They would be successful in life. But now that they've gotten exposed. Wow. So this could be somebody that wanted this person to think that they were um, somebody that they needed to partner up with. Or they were this person's two of cups. They, they were this person's twin. Four of wands, nine of swords. It's like they could have gossiped about this and spread it rumors and, you know, just lied. Did a lot of stuff in the dark that was not true. Now they're being exposed for whatever they were trying to do for, you know, to be in the Six of Wands energy. To have victory and success. This person just kept their self at a stalemate. 
They were keeping that person at a stalemate from having victory and success. If they thought that they were going to, you know, keep this person confused or something like that to try to block this person off, block this person from communicating with you, do something in a sneaky, deceptive way, it didn't work. It just kept them at a stalemate, kept that person at a stalemate. That's it. But while this person was at a stalemate, they ended up getting woke. They ended up getting enlightened. This person started using their intuition more. And a lot of stuff was revealed to them. The sun is here. Whatever was hidden. Eight of Swords is here. Queen of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah, somebody, somebody did something over and over again. And they ended up getting caught. Whoever this Queen of Wands is. And this person is nervous. It's like this person could be dealing with some type of abandonment issues. And they were trying to hold on to this person too tight. But they were doing something like repetitively. And they ended up getting caught. So if this was the person that was in the Seven of Swords energy, they didn't want this person to communicate with you or they tried to block some type of communication. They ended up getting caught. Yeah, this is somebody that's, you know, Five of Swords. It's like they sabotaged yourself. They were envious and jealous trying to sabotage the connection because this is someone that's very... um. This person could be literally mentally unstable. Like if this person spread some type of lies, rumors that was not true, they wanted this person to think that they were their twin because they thought they would have victory and success. But it did not go as planned. They ended up getting caught. This person realized who you are to them. It's like whatever they were doing repetitively, it opened up that person's intuition. It helped this person get woke and enlightened and woken up to their gifts because this person is someone high priestess is here. Yeah, this is someone that's very intuitive. This person is gifted. But as they were in a toxic karmic cycle, they weren't using their gifts in a positive way. So it was only keeping this person at a stalemate. Now that they're more intuitive, this person is... is like on the chariot and they want to come towards you because they know who you are to them knight of wands is here whoever this person is I'm done. whoever this person is knight of wands and five of swords is here this is could be somebody that this person was sleeping with or this person is just someone that was in the knight of wands energy they do stuff without thinking this person did not think before they did whatever they did. They didn't know the outcome. You know how they would look in the end. What they would be wrapped up in. You know the consequences of whatever it is they did in this nine of swords energy. Because they were doing stuff in the dark like over and over again. Eight of cups is here. And temperance is here. Yeah, somebody is walking away because they want to get more grounded. They want to... They want to have balance around them. And this person is walking away to fulfill some type of dreams. Yeah, something that they could have been keeping hidden. King of Pentacles is here. And then the musician is here. Yeah. It's like this person, if this person is walking away. From whatever this confusion is and um, being the musician of their own life. So they, if they were able to be tricked or confused, it's not going on anymore. This person is woke. This person feel like the only way that they're going to have abundance, the only way they're going to be able to manifest, be the musician of their own life. If they get away from or walk away from whoever these people are that are toxic, these people that operate in this five of wands energy, this five of swords, seven of swords energy, this devil energy. Knight of swords and then seven of wands. Yeah, somebody is pissed off. They're mad. Whoever ran in and did something, you know, too quick. It backfired and they're mad. 
Three of Pentacles is here. And then the world is here. This is like a relationship in and out. So if this was somebody that this person had not slept with, this was like a one night stand, but they were in some type of relationship <clears throat> with this person. This is somebody that wanted this person to think that they were their twin. Yeah. And whoever this person is, this is someone that's very intuitive. But they don't use it in a positive way. However, they were using their intuition. They ended up getting stuck. Because this person was doing something repetitively. Wow. So this person was repetitively like placing binding magic over this person, sex magic over this person to try to hold on to this person. Now they're pissed off because something backfired. As they were placing spell work over this person to get this person to be attracted to them or only want to have sex with them or something like that, this person was only thinking about you. Four of Wands and Page of, I mean, Four of Wands and Nine of Swords. You know, this person could have been having dreams about you. And this is how this person realized you're their twin. Because this fake, this false person, which is this Seven of Swords energy, they were placing some type of binding magic or spell work over this person for a long time and they didn't know. But this ended. The world is here. Whatever this is, whatever these blockages are, it ended because it backfired. Three of Wands is here. I'm done. And then Ten of Cups is here. Yeah, this person made a decision that they want to have, um, they want happiness. They want, they want to be fulfilled. They want their emotions fulfilled. This is somebody that was trying to keep this person binded to lust. And that cycle have been completed. And whoever this, this, <laughs> this popped out on this queen of wands, whoever this queen of wands is that was trying to bind this person to them, this is this toxic um, energy. They were trying to bind this person through sex. They're heartbroken. They're depressed. It didn't work. It's like they were trying to keep this person under some type of sex magic, lust, you know, in this lustful energy, attracted to them. But they're heartbroken because they could not fulfill this person emotionally. King and Queen of Cups, this person has emotions for you. Yeah, Nine of Cups is here. They look at you as wish fulfillment. You make this person happy. And this person could have been happy. It's, uh, yeah, they're coming towards you. The fool card is here. They're going towards a whole nother direction. And this person is heartbroken. This person could have been in this nine of cups energy, wish fulfillment, doing a whole bunch of spell work. Um, you know, sitting back with their arms folded and feet kicked up. And they thought that you would be in this three of swords energy. That didn't work. Four of cups is here. Yeah. Whatever they were doing, it was rejected. And they didn't know as they were sitting back with their arm folded and feet kicked up. I'm so done. Placing whatever illusion over their self. Keeping their self binded. Nine of cups. I mean, nine of pentacles is here. This is somebody that um wanted you to feel rejected. But you're self-sufficient, independent, abundant. You can be someone that's celibate. So it's like, if this is someone that was in a lustful energy, they wanted to keep that person binded to lust. You're not in a lustful energy. You're, you weren't pressed. It's like this person wanted you to be heartbroken if they were, you know, placing spell work over this person. Trying to have this person addicted to them through sex. It didn't work. It's like you're not binded to the devil or addictions and worse. Seven of Pentacles is here. And then the strength card is here. Yeah, you chose to invest in yourself. And you have grown a lot. This person chose to invest in the devil and they got tricked. They let the devil play tricks on their mind. The will of fortune is here. <laughs> I'm so done. This is sad. You just, this is like a person that went that far. Yeah, I'm so done. 
The Wheel of Fortune is here and Tower is here. So this person is realizing that you're walking in your destiny and in your purpose. It's like this only made your twin realize that um, you and them have a destiny and a purpose together. If this is someone that knew about the twin flame journey, they want that person to think that you were their twin, you're in this Wheel of Fortune energy. You're having good luck and abundance. They were only keeping that person at a stalemate from having victory and success and their good luck and abundance. You and this person have a Wheel of Fortune together. That person does not have, they're not a part of you and that person's Wheel of Fortune. They are Five of Pentacles energy. They were supposed to be ghosted, left behind, out in the cold. They were there to teach that person a lesson and that was it. But they thought that the spell work will keep that person under an illusion and confusion. It didn't work. The Hermit is here. And then Five of Cups is here. Somebody's in regret for not communicating something with you or ghosting you. This isn't their self from you. Somebody could have ghosted this person and they're in regret. Ace of Wands is here. And Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, somebody is weighed down because they either, you know, distanced their self from you and now you're having a new beginning. Yeah. And they feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulder. This could be your twin. Ten of Pentacles is here. You're having a new beginning. You're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. So it's like, yeah, they're in regret for ghosting you or not communicating with you or something like that. Being distant with communication. But they didn't know it was some type of deception being um, being involved. They didn't know this. This person possibly didn't even know spell work was being placed over them. Like whoever this Nine of Cups energy is, which is this Queen of Wands, this person was playing with blood magic over this person. And they were sitting back with their arms folded and feet kicked up. To try to keep that person attached to them. Hoping, you know, this person was thinking that they would have, you know, a whole bunch of money. Or they would have this great fortune with this person. This will of fortune. And this person is in a toxic karmic cycle with this low vibrational energy. Make it make sense. How are they going to get to their ten of pentacles? How are they going to have their will of fortune and good luck and abundance? If they don't open up to their intuition and choose to heal and start using their intuition so they can move forward. I'm so done. Six of Pentacles is here. Yeah. So it's like you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. You did the work on yourself. You took action towards whatever it is that you wanted out of life. You stood your ground. Queen of Swords is here. You chose to do the work. Eight of Pentacles is here. This person had two Six of Pentacles do the same thing as you in order to get this Ten of Pentacles. Because this is you and this person's Ten of Pentacles. And whoever this person is, they thought they would confuse that person, keep that person attached to them. And this person would be, you know, in this energy where they would just, their abundance or their Ten of Pentacles would just be handed to them. They wouldn't have to do no work. They would just be operating in a low vibrational devil energy and God would hand them their Ten of Pentacles. This is how confused an illusion um and much of an illusion that that person placed on their self because they're mentally unstable whatever magic that they were playing with it has them mentally unstable i'm so done it's like these are people that have sat back and watched you do the work they see that you're someone that's very abundant they see that you're attracting whatever it is that you want out of life because you're the star you're someone that is spiritually woke. You chose to heal. You chose to do the work. You chose to cut off things that no longer serve purpose in your life. This is why you're having a new beginning. This is why you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy. But this person had to do the same as you. Equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. Ace of Cups is here. And then the death card is here. Yeah, so this person needed to start loving their self. They needed to show their self some love. This person needed to think about their self and go through some type of transformation. Because this is what you did. You chose yourself. You chose to go through some type of transformation. 
And somebody was literally sitting back thinking, you know, they can just play with black magic. They can play with spell work, blood magic, keep that person stuck to them through sex magic or some type of lustful way. And they would have this ten of pentacles. They would be in this wheel of fortune. And this person could be somebody that do drugs, like heavy on drugs. And they had them place some type of illusion over their self. And was trying to place an illusion over that person. You know, had that person thinking that they would have victory and success, but this person was holding them off from having victory and success. I'm so dumb. This is something serious than you would least expect. The lovers is here. Yeah, this person needed to go through a transformation in order to have true love. The lovers is here. This is the spiritual connection that they have with you in order to have something pure because they were in a toxic karmic cycle. Keeping their self binded to whoever this devil energy is. Whoever this person is that was possessed, they were obsessed with playing with spell work to try to keep that person stuck. Four of Swords is here. And then um, Queen of Pentacles is here. Page of Pentacles is here. Yeah, somebody is seeing why you chose to keep yourself in isolation and in solitude. You were getting enlightened. You were healing yourself. You were cleansing yourself. Guarding your energy. Recharging your energy. And you were focusing on your finances. This is why you're very prosperous. Because you don't be around nobody. Now this person is seeing that. Page of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Because they've been watching you. Yeah, they see the truth. Ace of Swords is here. They've gained clarity. It's like they know that you're their twin. And this person, whoever this person is, was a toxic um, karmic lesson that they were attached to. Four of Pentacles is here. And then Three of Cups is here. Wow. <laughs> These were multiple people that were trying to hold on to this person. Two of Swords is here. I'm so done. Six of swords. <laughs> so whoever is one of these people were a friend of theirs. You know, one person was trying to bind them through sex magic. Another person was a friend of theirs that had them spread some type of lies that was not true. They're sailing away from that person. They see all of these people as people that were jealous, envious of them, trying to sabotage them, trying to one up them. <laughs> I'm good, Page of <laughs> And Six of Cups is here, yeah. This person wants to communicate. And then Ace of Pentacles is here. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. It's like they're coming towards you. Six of Cups. It's like they're coming back towards you after being distant from you, not communicating with you. They needed to see this deception. Because you hadn't spoke some type of truth. But it's like this person was just watching you secretly admiring you, Page of Cups, and did not know what was hidden. The moon is here. Now that they've woken up, this person wants to come towards you with a solid offer of commitment. Because they know who you are to them. Whatever you spoke to this person that was true, they needed to see it for themselves. Now they're seeing this. Wow. Yeah, now they're seeing this and they want justice to be served. Something is being balanced out. Because this person ended up getting woke. 